Uh, it was all right, you know, I've got to go back and work on some stuff, but it is what it is, and on to the next one. What's something you possibly want to work after that? Uh, you know, pretty impressive to us. Uh, you know, there's always room to improve. Uh, you know, obviously I got to work on defense. I wouldn't got hit so much. Uh, moving my head, circling a little bit better both sides, mixing it up. Uh, you know, there's a lot to work on just in that, you know, where was it, two, three minutes that we fought in there. Um, like I said, go back to the drawing board and get better. He was kind of the guy that we were talking about heading into this fight, so much so that Demetrius Johnson actually mentioned his name uh, at open workouts. How did you feel about that, and, and now that you've beaten him, what were your thoughts? Um, to me, it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to fight whoever's next. It don't matter what people think of you or the, your opponent. You guys are going to go in there and fight eventually. And uh, whatever happens, happens. You know, Jose Torres, he's, he's, he's fucking tough. You know, he's, he was 8-0 and for a reason. It's not, it's not like he's a slouch. If we fought 10 times, you never know what's going to happen. Just tonight, I was a better guy. You mentioned, though, you want to uh, face both of the Sasaki next, though. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind fighting him or Brandon Moreno. I mean, those two guys that pop out to me, um, they just fought. And, uh, you know, we're kind of just wait, you know, just waiting around. I might as well fight one of them. I'm in this I'm in this to fight, you know. I'm not in this to just be here. What is it about those two guys that, that interest you? Um, just exciting fights. They both come out to fight. They both come in and pressure. They both come in and throw. They both come in to grapple. They come in to fight. And that's what I'm here for. Uh, I'm not here to sit on the sideline and wait. If I can get three, four fights in one year, then let's do it. I'm in shape all the time. I train. Every day, you know, I train my butt off with some of the best guys in the world, some of the best coaches in the world. Might, might as well take advantage. I only got a short window to fight, and uh, I'm going to do everything possible to, to fight as many times. Does Flyweight get a bad rap? Because, I mean, people say the division is boring, but then, you know, if you watched your fight a few minutes ago, that, that was not boring uh, by any stretch. Yeah, but they also say the heavyweight division is, is exciting, and look what happened last, last time they went out there, you know. I think I threw more punches in. And two minutes, they threw the whole damn fight. So it's just a people's opinion. And like I said, I can care less what people think of me or my fighting style. I'm here to win. Is it important for you to be exciting in there? Is that, is that part um, my, my goal is to win, for most and foremost. I, I'm here to collect two checks. I'm not here to collect one. Um, a lot of people get into the hype. Of, oh, I got to be this. I got to be this. Hey, man, I'm here to collect two checks. Hey. If it's a decision, then it's a decision. If it's a knockout, it's a knockout, you know? I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, well, I'm going to do this every time. You never know what's going to happen. I'm just here to collect two checks. That's my that's my main job. Is that the show and the win checks? Yes, sir. Right. You know, hopefully I get that that's extra I get a, extra 50, extra 50, you know, for that performance. But, you know, it is what it is. It's, a, it's always a tough weight cut for you. Is this speak okay? Uh, yeah, it's a tough weight cut just because I'm a fat ass. Uh, my nutritionist, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't party. I love to eat, though. Anytime you guys want to go eat, let's go eat some Korean bar. All you can, only can go to all you can eat places because if I go to a regular restaurant, man, I spend like $100 just on myself. All you can eat to our limit, and we'll stay there all day. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, like, I love to eat. That's my thing. My, I went to Chicago a couple weeks ago with uh, with Carla. And my nutritionist is like, all right, well, I try to eat this, this. I'm like, man, I love pizza, first of all. You're going to tell me I can't, can't eat pizza? I was like, come on, you're out of your damn mind. <laughs> you're not, you don't live in a good place. Uh, you don't want Korean barbecue because you live in Irvine. Oh, yeah, I live in Irvine. And uh, Korean bar. actually, I lived, like, down the street for one of my favorite Korean barbecue. I can literally walk there and walk back. And, like, I'm running in the, in the morning or running at night. I'm, I, like, I run by there just crying, like, ah. Oh, like, that's on my list to do. As soon as I get home tomorrow, go out there. It's called All That Korean Barbecue. Go and just pig out. <laughs> you going to sneak in a, a cheat meal tonight? Oh, you know it. I already got pizza in my room waiting for me, man. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, we, uh, we watched your training partner, Marlon, react live to your win. He was super excited. He was yelling and screaming. Did you happen to catch any of his fight? And if so, what did you uh, Yeah, it was kind of emotional, man, because uh, me and that guy have, like, People don't know about his story, and so the people that do don't, you know, don't give him enough credit. This guy left Ecuador for about like a year without seeing his family, you know. And uh, I used to live with him, so I used to see all this stuff. I remember taking him to the airport and stuff, and how sad he was, how much sacrifice that guy's made. And he made a great run, and then all of a sudden he kind of hit the slump, lost two in a row. And you know, especially when I mean about collecting two checks, man, those two checks for him 
or very important. His daughter just had surgery. You know, it's not cheap to get surgery out here. He got surgery for his daughter and stuff. So, you know, when he won, I was super emotional in the back, trying to pull everything in. You know, I'm seeing him hug coach and hug all everybody else. I'm like, shit, man. Like, I'm going to start crying right now. But I got a fight coming up. So it's a mixed emotions. We're like brothers. So it's kind of like I'm super happy and super proud of everything he's accomplished. It's funny you say that because uh, when he was back here sitting in that chair, you were fighting on that TV screen. And we're asking him questions. I can see that he's trying to watch you fight. And when you won, him and Jason like went crazy. And got him. Yeah, man, we've been to, uh, you know, me and Chito have known each other for years, and we're like family. And then obviously Jason has been my manager since my first pro fight. I'm already, you know, I turned pro when I was 19. I did two amateur fights, turned pro when I was 19. So I'm, I used to live with Jason. I mean, I don't know how many managers let you live with them. Like he, I lived with them, and he would drive me to practice, literally. And he used to lay. He lives in Lake Elsinore, and he would drive me all the way from Lake Elsinore all the way to Irvine, you know, and drop me off and be like, all right, I'll be back at this time to pick you up, you know, like. That, that's why we get so emotional. We're more than just uh, teammates and uh, you know a managed company, but you know we're family. And I, like I said, I'm, I'm happy to know those guys. Did, uh, did watching Marlon win early in the night and kind of him doing it in honor of his daughter that pump you up before your fight at all? Uh, yeah, you know it's always like like it just feeds off you know like win lose like it's always like ah oh, man super emotional like when I see him win I'm like fuck yeah man he won he got it done like it's my turn now it's my, I can't let anybody down it's my turn to go out there and perform.